What's up, guys? Matt here coming at you. Super excited to bring you a look at this new FuryTech Micro Komodo. You can see this thing crawling in from the left side here. You know, it's that crazy, smooth, insane, wizardry, um, slow crawl that we've gotten used to with the Komodo, most of the FuryTech brushless stuff. Um, you can see here is the old Komodo. We're going to do a little size comparison and um, running comparison somewhat. Now, um, these are not all running the same ESC. I tried to run the same battery for the most part, 2S, um, in these three trucks. And, uh, you know, things can be changed. Pinions can be changed. All of that. I'm not even 100% sure what pinion I'm running on this. It was just uh, the one that came with it. So this has the MoFo torque beast or uh, i'm sorry nano beast um in it the one with the uh, idler gear and everything so um we're gonna run that one a little bit we have the new mofo nano 2.0 here mounted up um just for a kind of look and a size comparison but this is basically the same size as the komodo i didn't have a komodo um that wasn't mounted up um, but you can see the size difference in what we're dealing with here. Crazy. So um, that's a lot of weight. And uh, super excited about these little micro motors that are coming out. You get that insane, smooth, slow crawl like we got here. And you get the torque. So um, we're going to talk about that a little bit and do a little running and uh, kind of show the differences. So you can see when this thing is mounted up in here, um, I really like how these sit off to the side a little more um, versus like this. It has to sit right dead in the middle of the truck. Just makes fitting everything in there a little more complicated, getting all your other electronics in there. And this truck's really not laid out exactly how I want it. Um, it's got quite a bit of weight up high here, but um, it's nowhere near even been finished. It's got... I absolutely hate these links and I got to get rid of those and still need to do some work on this, but you know, um, mounted this thing up in here just to, uh, kind of see how it would run and overall super impressed with it. It's, it has a lot of torque for the micros and it has a lot of speed. So this thing is the 3450 KV. So you can a lot of speed out of this. Um, when I compared the speed, you'll see this with this. Pretty much even. Um, and then when I compared this against the Nano um, 1.0. So I actually had both of those on the same transmitter. I had to swap to the original Komodo versus the MoFo Nano here. And you can see they're pretty dead even. So I feel like the... Um, new fury tech micro komodo and the mofo nano would be basically even on wheel speed so um wheel speed is insane for this little micro that's kind of been my problem with the micro brushless um i like that wheel speed and so this is on 2s we can go 3s in this and we're going to all right so you'll see the 3s in this thing is pretty wicked um probably need to do a little tuning on the throttle of this thing i just slapped it in with the um, tegu esc and did nothing uh, a lot of times when you switch to 3s you may have to kind of like recalibrate throttle a little or something and you can see it kind of does that little glitch there when you go from that super slow crawl up but pretty good i mean Every now and then, see so you get that little tick. So um, it is a little different on 3S. You kind of have to play with your settings a little bit. I've found a lot of times when you're going up to the 3S. So um, honestly, with this motor, I don't think I'm going to be running 3S. Um, it has plenty of wheel speed on 2. Um, I was very impressed with the power coming out of this thing. Like I said, you know, I've kind of been a little hesitant on these micros. I've been trying them out for a while, trust me. I've tried a few, and just like this one, it's tiny. 
It's awesome. I love the size of it, but just didn't have that power. I couldn't handle it. Um, so, you know, that's one reason I, I've kind of went back to brushed lately. And now at this point, you know, like here's your stock motor. Here's like a barrage. Um, and look, I mean, you're honestly a little smaller than a barrage. So that's insane that you are able to uh, pretty much get, you know, the the torque and stuff like out of, the, you know, I really like the Ox brushed motor. Um, and I feel like this is going to have just as much wheel speed if, as it. Um, I'll try to compare this with the Ox um, a little more as I get some run time and, and see, but I feel like we're now getting that wheel speed that we had with stuff like the Ox that I really liked out of these micros. Um, and then, you know, the, the real advantage with these brushless setups is the smoothness and that torque. So, um, you know, I'm gonna show you real quick. This is not really a good idea, but I'm gonna mash down on this thing and give it throttle and, and you just watch, like uh, I'm able to stall it out, see that? And I mean, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on there, but I am able to stall it out. Um, what happened? Oh, I got a shock binding. Um, now watch with this brushless micro Komodo here. Okay, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> um, but you've seen that. Like, it's going to rip the tires off or break something. Like, there is no stopping that thing. So, um, that torque is insane, and we're getting that speed. So, um, it's pretty dang impressive. Like, really impressive. So, we'll take a little look at size comparison here. Um, what you're looking at because you know here's a stock motor this thing honestly is not much different than a stock size motor in there if you look at that um, which is that's amazing all right <laughs> um, that this thing has the power and speed that it has for that size um, so the only thing with these is you know you got to keep that area clear you can't have anything rubbing against it um, but it's pretty simple to do when you can mount this thing up. Um, I've seen it mounted forward. I usually like to mount these little motors towards the rear because they're so small. You can see that thing's tucked down in there pretty good. Like I said, this truck's a long way from being set up how I want, but um, it's it's a work in progress and I'm constantly changing things. But um, you are able to tuck that down in there pretty good and that motor's kind of a wash to me when you figure, um, you know, a battery up front or whatever. Normally I try to get my ESC more toward the front as well. So uh, I kind of like it mounted toward the rear more than the front. But either way you want to do it, you know, you could do that. Um, like I said, here is your barrage. Basically this... Um, the Enjora, all of those, you can see the size difference there. And then, you know, like here's the revolver, which kind of started the outrunner phase. Um, everybody used to run these. It was the only choice we had really for brushless. These got really hard to get and uh, I had some issues stripping out the screw holes in mine. Um, so I tried to find a cheaper alternative and I found the Surpass. So then we kind of all went to the Surpass and then we just kept going from there, right? Komodo and now micro Komodo. And got to say, I'm just very impressed with this thing. Unbelievable. The speed and power. I just keep saying that, but it, it really is for what the size of it. So I um, kind of want to just show you guys that. I'll throw some running clips in here so you can see it in action, um, like always. And I'll link everything in the description. If you guys have any questions, we can do more testing later. I know everybody always says, we don't want to know wheel speed. We don't want to know wheel speed. We need to know this or that. But, um, you know, the torque is definitely there. You've seen that. 
And I like to know wheel speed because I want to know how much I'm able to cram on this uphill and that sort of thing. So wheel speed's not always just because I want to drag race it. You know, I'm not going to be drag racing this, but I am going to be spinning going uphill. So I like to be able to have that wheel speed as well. So um, if you guys have any questions, definitely hit me up. I'll post the links in the description. Like I said, I appreciate everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that. More to come for sure. Peace. So here's Liam. He's gonna drive the the completely stock Jeep Gladiator for us. He really likes that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So um, we're gonna try the straight up stock truck here with the uh, Fury Tech Tiju Tegu. Everybody always fusses at me about that. And the uh, Micro Komodo. So are you ready, Liam? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you jumped the gun on me. Whee! All right, one more time since Liam jumped the gun on me a little. Three, two, one, go.